Welcome back. It's 6 a.m. here in Toronto. I'm a little bit tired, but I'm going to try to go through this with as much energy as possible. So last night, I found this company that I thought had real great potential to make a return for me. So I decided to loan them some money, exactly $100,000, to this this laboratory named Wolverine Labs, and apparently they work with human beings to insert different types of hard metals and synergize their bodies with it to create superhumans. And I decided, hey, this is going to make me a return, there's definitely a demand for this, I'm going to give them a $100,000 note, 6 year term, 4% coupon, and they're like, sure, I will completely go ahead with that take your money and we'll give you that return. So let's go ahead and find the present value for all of the different cash flows because that's what we need to do in a question like this. So we're going to look at the face value, the term, and the coupon rate along with the market rate, which is 8%. So on a timeline, it would look something, and well not like that, but it would look something like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's a six year term, and we're giving up $100,000 at the beginning, receiving our principal back at the end, and over the six years, we'll be receiving 4% of $100,000 a year, which is $4,000 kind of looks like $9,000, $4,000 a year. And I'm just gonna draw an arrow so you can kind of get the idea that it continues. We're going to first discount the cash flows for the interest payments. So you can either use annuity tables, but I'm just gonna do the calculation since it's a little bit more illustrative. And the present value of an annuity is going to equal the cash flow times 1 minus 1 divided by 1 plus r to the power of t divided by the market rate. So what is our cash flow? Our cash flow is $4,000 a year and to add or to fill everything in it would look like this 1 over 1 plus. Now the rate we're gonna use the market rate. Remember, always, always market rate, always that effective rate. And then the term is six years, so to the power of six, and we divide by the market rate once again. And this entire boxed-in area is actually going to equal, it's going to equal 4.62287 nine six six four I just had that written down right there and you that's your annuity factor and you just multiply that by four thousand and you will get the present value of this annuity which is going to be eighteen thousand four hundred ninety one dollars and fifty two cents when we round it so the present value or the the worth in the present day for all of these $4,000 coupon payments or interest payments is going to be worth 18000 Now let's work on the present value for a single sum because we need to do that as well. We're going to take the future value, I should probably say PV first, actually no because I can say this is equal to that, and then 1 plus R to the power of T and that's going to give us 100,000 divided by 1 plus the market rate to the power of 6 and that will yield $63,016.96 and together I'm going to try to make a squiggly bracket to go around all this that will equal $81,000 508 and 48 cents. So that is the present value for all of the cash flows in this question. But the thing is, this is different from the face value of 100,000. Why is that? Well, if you remember, it's because the coupon rate is 4% and the market rate is 8%. And when the coupon rate is less than the market rate, 
there is going to be a discount like we have in this question. I'm just going to scroll down and finish this up at the bottom. The last thing I just wanted to show you, uh, well I actually need to show you a little bit more, but I should just say before we move on to the next video is that the face value is $100,000, which we know just from the question when it started off. And then we have the present value of an annuity that is $18,491.52, while the present value annuity is going to be $63,016.96. And this gives us a difference of, how much is that going to be? Well, first I should actually total it. It's going to be 81,000, totally in these two, 81,508 and 48 cents. And the difference is $18,491.52. And this, this difference right here is going to be your discount. There we go, we got our discount. Next, in the next video, I'm gonna actually go through an amortization table so you fully get it, and then we will report the entries. All right, see you guys next time.